black snake or a black rat snake. He's he wasn't very friendly when I first found him, but when I whenever you move fast, when you handle snakes, you have to try to be as slow and as non-threatening as, as possible. Because you, as a person, you're bigger than it, and you could easily eat them. And he doesn't want that, obviously. So that's why when you handle snakes, you have to be as slow as possible and to be as non as non-threatening as possible. So like whenever I get up, get up really slow. And slowly walk over. Not happy with me. He's not a very nice snake. I can probably guess why because of that big wound on him. Be slow. When you touch him, you test the water. I call it testing the waters. When you touch him you gently barely touch them, and if they don't react, pick them up. There we go. And once you get one hand on them, they'll normally be okay with you touching them, getting another hand on them somewhere else, like this. I just, I like, if I move, fold them in half like this, so it's easier. He's a smaller package to hold. I mean, these guys can get big. And uh, he probably got that wound by, well, I found him in a cow yard, so he probably got stepped on. Or another big possibility is how he got that wound is uh, he could have stepped, or he stepped, he, can't, he doesn't even have feet. He, uh, he could have been a restricting prey or, you know, these snakes, they, they restrict, they're restrictor, restrictors. So what they do is they wrap around their prey and they squeeze the life out of them. And because they have no deadly venom to dispatch them, so they just have to squeeze them and then slowly swallow them whole. These snakes do not chew at all. Just keep an eye on the camera. Keep a close eye on him. But they'll squeeze the life out of them. And I, I would show you if I could, but right here, this is where the tail begins. Snakes do not have a very, very long tail. They have a very short tail. But basically at the bottom, you know how they have those lateral scutes that go down like that? Well, at the beginning of the cloaca and going up, this is how all colubrids or non-venomous snakes, how their uh, tails are kind of, the scutes on the bottom of their tails are configured. They're configured like this, in a checkered pattern like this. It's how, how you can actually tell between venomous and non-venomous snakes. It's one of the ways. Got him, he's eyeballing me. He's gonna bite my leg. Be careful. A good, and here's a good uh, warning. If you see their tongue flickering really fast, now there's a bunch of different signs that tell you that they're about to bite. Of course, they can lash out at any time they want. So these are just, take these lucratively. But you see their tongue flickering, that's a warning. And then of course them coiling, which allows them to shoot out really fast. And those are telling you that he's not happy. Especially the tongue, you see them, they flicker the tongue like that. And there, that's a bright, a black tongue. He's telling me he's not happy. Hold him in half. This is the, this is the easiest way I'd say to hold a snake is you fold them in half. Because <laughs> it makes them a little bit easier to handle. <laughs> and uh, it makes them a little bit smaller. Let this guy go and I'll talk to y'all, all of y'all later.